it's a real sort of funny age, isn't it? The sort of late, because I'm 30 years old and I've kind of gone through this sort of period where I think that I'm sort of, to, sort of young enough not to care but still sort of old enough to know a lot better and it's this kind of thing where I think lots of expectations and pressures are placed upon you to, to do certain things in your life is that was that just a really fascinating area for both of you to explore because it's one that we don't see too often explored in film I don't find I think it really was that was definitely that that kind of that point where you do feel like there should be some kind of milestone even if it's not the kind of traditional 30th birthday there on the horizon but I think just something about that point in your life where you're you really are expected to be growing up a bit and kind of working out what you want to do and probably, you know, thinking about a career and, and kind of spending time with people you really want to spend time with and and make, you know, for I think for women especially, there's a lot of pressure to stop doing certain things with your body and start doing other things with your body or start preparing to do other things with your body. And um, and so so those were all huge inspirations, really, because I because personally, the book came from a place um, where I was feeling that within my group of friends because I'd, I'd, I was over 30 and, and I hadn't like found the, the right person to be with and I hadn't, um, I wasn't settling down. I feel like I'm doing that a lot, but it's like all these inverted comma <laughs> things. Um, but because I don't really believe in those things, that's why I have to, to use my, my hands like that. But um, so, so yeah, and, and, and I suppose I was still going out partying and I felt a bit judged and not by my mates because they, they're, you know, they're too nice to do that to me, but um, but certainly by something and someone. And and so um, I wanted to to explore where that might come from and, and if there was a way of challenging it and exploding it. Uh, yeah, Sophie, I was wondering, tell me, how good are these two young actresses in these in, in these lead roles. I mean, you must have been so thrilled to get them both on board. I, I just love them both. I just think they're both so exceptional. And working with them, that was just, um, like, brought to the surface. I mean, I, I was so floored by them all the time. They're consummate prof professionals. Like, they walk in and they know what they're doing in every respect. Um, and we did a whole lot of rehearsal process, um, which they just threw themselves into, even though having been working actors for some time, some people don't want to do that. Um, they really launched into it uh, embrace the story but they both just have this really remarkable quality and what was interesting about animals was that they were doing things that they weren't often getting a chance to do so Holiday was definitely a kind of having a very modern role you know a very kind of a little bit messy a little bit grotty things that we haven't seen her do or if we have we don't think of her like that, even though mm -hmm. she is doing that. And then Alia, you know, she's just this very excellent, we've seen her be this very excellent, awkward indie kid. And so to put her in a role that was very glamorous, I thought, mm -hmm. in a, and um, very in control, uh, felt just exciting, you know, and watching them together was um, a thrill. The chemistry was spot on, which was so crucial for it to work because the friendship was so central to it. So, yeah, they got on, you know, a house on fire. And, yeah, that was, that was yeah, lucky. Yeah. Did, did you have to screen test them together before? Did you just get a, an inkling? We didn't, yeah. I mean, in fact, we, we I only met both of them on Skype. So that was, um, you know, we, I just felt like they were really right. And in fact, Alia had a kind of Tyler quality that I'd never seen in her on screen. And uh, that was excellent. But when they came together, we did a lot of intimacy work and a lot of tasks to kind of create something. And because they're so good as actors, I mean, their job is to create that chemistry too. You know, they great actors, they make that work, you know, straight away. And mm -hmm. I mean, they they became very close friends as well, but you know, they, they just sort of have to do it. All of them did, the, the boys in it as well. And, and Jean, the sister, Amy, you know, they all just had to launch themselves right in, inside the world together. And Emma, I was wondering too, when you were writing the the novel, were you were you picturing a film what, like in the future one day? Was that something that was always kind of at the back of your mind? I mean, it if was. not, oh yeah. Yeah, because I've always wanted to try screenwriting, and but I also think I'm probably quite a visual writer. I tend to write in that way, and I like writing scenes and set pieces that are, that are, that come very visually, and that's the way I tend to to write them and describe them. Um, and I love dialogue, and obviously now I know screenwriting is so much more than that, but but that was one of the sort of staples, one of the things that I, I enjoy writing and reading the most. So it was great to get the chance, because not novelists don't often do. You don't often get the chance to adapt your own work. A lot of novelists don't want to do it. It's their like worst nightmare, but it was definitely something I wanted to do. So I was lucky to get the chance to, to have a go. And just my final question really is just what's next for you both? Have you got anything sort of in the pipeline? Have you, are you working on another book perhaps and another film? I mean, I just, as soon as we finished Animals, I, I made a television series in Australia, a four-part mini-series called The Hunting, which is about teenagers sharing explicit photos of each other online and the kind of ramification of that. Uh, so I will just put that out and Animals out and, and go back into the world of development. Mm. 
Yeah, I've got a new novel coming out next February in the UK and America, and um, that's called Adults, and that's about a woman who's kind of, I guess, five years on from animals, so she's 35, so it's about a whole load of different pressures that are affecting her then, and I'm going to adapt that for TV. Oh, nice. Coming of age, coming of age. Yeah, coming, coming of age. age. <laughs> I'm just going to keep coming of age on, like, 70 and then die. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they should all end in, in, in the next few ends. And then we'll die. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey You Guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!